Case 38. A buffalo passes through a window. Koan. Gosso said, to give an example, it is like a buffalo passing through a window. Its head, horns, and four legs have all passed through. Why is it that the tail cannot? Momon's commentary, if you can penetrate to the point of this koan, open your Zen eye to it and give a turning word to it, you will then be able to repay the four obligations above and help the three existences below. If you still cannot do so, work with the tail single-heartedly until you can really grasp it as your own. Moman's poem, if it passes through, it falls into a ditch. If it turns back, it is destroyed. This tiny tail, how extremely marvelous. Here we have Goso Hoen Zenji appearing. The teacher of the sixth patriarch was Goso Go Gunin Zenji. He lived in the same mountain as Goso Hoen Zenji. Since they both lived in the same mountains, they are both called Goso, but there is the Goso Gunin Zenji, who was the teacher of the sixth patriarch, and the one appearing here is Goso Hoen Zenji. In old China, the actual name of a person would not be used to call them. China, in China, there was an emperor ruling, and if you were to call this emperor by his name, it was a crime, while he did have a name. The same then was adapted for Zen masters. His name here was Hoan, but rather to call him by this name, he was called by the mountain he lived in, or they were called by the name of the area or the name of the city where they lived. As Joshu also was called Joshu, while his actual name was Jushin, he was called Joshu, the name of the town where he lived. So here we have Goso Ho and Zenji appearing, who was the teacher of Engo Kokogon Zenji, who edited the Blue Cliff Records. Goso Ho and Zenji lived until the age of 48 as a layperson in society. He was studying and practicing precisely while living a layperson life. Thus, <clears throat> thus he knew the problems of society well. He knew how Zen masters were looked at by people in society and that they were often seen not as truly being concerned to bring liberation to all. And this being aware of this, that from there he developed his own style of training and that was right to the point. When he then became a teacher, he took his experience of living in society and was pointing out that each person can realize their bright mind, thus he was teaching in a very straightforward way. Goso Huen Zenji had his focus on this when he became a teacher, reflecting upon how a true teacher should act. He made up his own koans so that he would be certain to bring all of his students to the experience of awakening. There are even in the Mumon Khan alone three of his koans. The one of Seijo's soul being separated is created by him, then the koan we have here of the ox passing through the window, and the koan of Shaka and Miraku encountering. He would not last, let his students pass any of these three koans unless they had broken through. Here we have the koan about the ox passing through the window, but the tail does not manage to pass through the window. He would use this koan to corner his students so that they ended up in a place where they could not say a single word anymore, having lost their body, having lost all awareness, until they are so cornered that they could only become life itself, and then they would be able to break through. He did not allow for half-hearted zazen. As long as you were sitting, you needed to sit to the degree that you could forget your body, forget heaven and earth, that only mind completely melted into oneness with the universe. 
no awareness of oneself left whatsoever. This kind of guidance is indeed needed. Nowadays, Zen left 1,700 koans behind their old tools to bring us to awakening to our true base of mind. Even among Buddhist teachings, Zen is taking a special approach. So all this gathered data needs to be completely cut off, and for that we have 1,700 koans. These koans, the use of them was completed by Hakuin, he was a master of them, and then Goso Hoen also would use them well to check everyone's state of mind and take the last remaining dregs away. The monks were taught in this way, but Goso Hoen also had in mind to teach all people, politician, economics, scholars, all. And he knew well that easily scholars would fool scholars, politicians would fool politicians, and he knew well, after having lived in society for so long, how to resolve these issues and how to truly liberate also people and society. Since he had lived there until the age of 48, he made up the, his determination to become a teacher, especially also to reach those in society. It is said that Bodhidharma is the founder of Zen, the sixth patriarch is the one who completed the teaching of Zen, and Goso Hoen is the one who truly gave life to Zen. Goso Hoen Zenji gives a metaphor. Outside this round window, there passed an ox. First, the head, the horns, the body passed, but the tail could not. Why could the tail not pass? Do you understand? That's how Goso Hoen Zenji is asking his students. When your Zazen deepens, all ego attachment, all ego awareness does not arise anymore. These horns of ego have passed. All thoughts, concepts, imagination, all concepts are completely gone. They don't arise anymore. This is how your Zazen has ripened, if no concepts appear anymore. And then this body, this body being a combination of desire, but also the source for desire. This body also has passed. The desires have quietened it down. This, the humans go on about emotions, about like and dislike, good and bad. And when the Zazen settles, also all these emotions settle. And all of this has passed by the window. All is gone, but this tail. This tail cannot pass and remains. Do you know what this tale is all about? Can you speak about this tale? Goso Hoen Zenji, Goso Hoen Zenji <clears throat> said, the horns, the intellectual head, the desirous body, all emotions have gone and passed. Why is this tale still there? This is how he put it. Religions at times, if we are not careful, can get you caught on the idea of God and heaven, ignoring the actual problems of society. So even if there is awakening, then that vow to liberate others does not arise, so society is left behind. Goso Ho and Zenji, knowing well about the problems and worries of people in society, and that there is hardly any religious leader around who cares about liberating society, from that very position he is speaking here. What is important here is if you don't put your life on the line, you cannot liberate others. We say to liberate society, but if you approach this from your intellect, from desire, from emotion, all that is a big mistake. Society needs to be seen from a quiet state of mind, and that is what Goso Hoen is teaching with this koan. He speaks to his monk and says, put your life on the line, Give your whole being, give your whole life, or else you cannot liberate society. So why does the tail not pass? To do Zazen is not about fighting with our body, our emotions, or our intellect. We need to liberate 
ourselves from our ego, from our ideas, from concepts, desires, and emotions. And then, with a sharp, quiet, seeing eye, perceive society. Or else, we will again create further trouble and confusion for people and society, just as politicians are doing, ignoring the needs of the common people. We need to let go of all of this and not leave the slightest bit behind. No idea whatsoever can be left behind. For this, we are doing Zazen so that we can see the actual situation there is in society and then bring forth that deep wisdom as to how to resolve it. As Rinzai said, abiding nowhere, awakened mind arises. This pure mind has no ego attachment, has no emotion, has no concepts. This source of mind needs to be tasted, and then we can perceive it straight on in our eyes as seeing, in our ears as hearing, in our nose, mouth, and body as sensing straight on. Our hands hold, our feet walk. The eye, free from an idea, then can see clearly. The ears, free from concepts, can truly hear the sounds of pain. The nose smelling, the, the mouth tasting just as is. This teaching can only be experienced through our own experience. Our hands are for the working, for liberation of others. We do not walk and move our feet for ourselves, but for all of society. And to realize this huge functioning, for that we do Zazen. Zazen is not the point, but Zazen brings forth that wisdom from within. In this way, Goso Hohenzenji asked the assembly, taking the position of a teacher. Nothing can be inserted of ideas from politics, economics, science, nothing whatsoever when you truly want to perceive that which is right in front of you with your own senses only, or else you cannot do anything for others. Muman Ikai says here that Goso Hohenzenji speaks straight to the point if we do not clean our mind, we cannot function. This corn is not a quiz. Why does the tail not pass by the window? We do not depend on concepts, desires, emotions anymore. All has been cleaned up. And now this bright wisdom comes forth. Not the slightest bit of ego is being inserted. For this, then, from there then, true functioning in society is possible. Some are able to resolve their problems, others still carry them around with them, but they need to be cut from the very source from where they arise. We need to look at this clearly and sharply. We all have ego and ideas easily mixed in. We need to clean them all up and then straighten our pine and stretch up to the heavens, filling our 360 small bones, our 84,000 hair pores, from the top of our head to the bottom of our feet with this bright, cleaning energy. All needs to become this mu. All knowledge then is let go of by using this mu. All desires are being let go of with this mu. All emotions are being let go of with this mu. That is how we need to experience it. Goso Hoen Zenji is being approved of here by Mumon Ekai. It is not so that not the slightest idea is left whatsoever. This does not work if we think about yesterday or today. We need to do this practice for a week, a month, a year, and then it can ripen to that degree where this move can cut everything off completely. And this is that experience that is being described by an ancient master Oh, great, all-embracing mind, it is impossible to measure the height of the heavens, yet the mind is above the heavens. It is impossible to measure the thickness of the earth, yet the mind is below the earth. The sun and the moon shine with great radiance, yet the mind is the source of that radiance. Within the mind, the four seasons deepen in their sequence. Within the mind, the sun and the moon move. 
O oh great, all-embracing mind, we need to clean up all. No ego perception can be left whatsoever. Returning to our pure mind in the seeing and the hearing, in the smelling and the tasting and the feeling. And then from there, our mind can function through these purified senses. And this is not just a simple tale, but this tale then can sharply perceive the world as it is. This tale brings us to truly seeing what is happening in the world. In this way, Goso Hohen Zenji is summing it up, saying that we need this tale to sharpen our perception.